So I've got another little project here that I wanted to show. Um, this is uh, Space Pong, and it is the uh, the first game that I wrote in C very shortly after I finished reading my book on learning C. Um, and I think it's a pretty neat game. I'll just go ahead and show you what, uh, what cool things there are about it. Uh, obviously it's Pong set in space and um, that's really all there is to it. There's uh, some directional sound effects, nothing too too fancy. And some neat graphical effects like sparks and the paddles light up and all that jazz. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the sound. Um, you can change the background. I've got a bunch of different space backgrounds that you can switch to and they all just kind of float around as you play. Uh, there's support for two players, uh, obviously on the same screen with the same keyboard. There's full screen support and you can run it at, oh shit, I forgot to play it as the other player. But yeah, player one, or yeah, player one over here, player two over here. And of course, as I was doing before, there's the AI that you can play against, uh, which is pretty easy, but you can make it more difficult if you edit the code a little bit. Um, so yeah, this uh, the whole game is under 2,000 lines, so it's not anything particularly advanced or crazy. Uh, graphics are done with graphics and sound and input. Actually, basically everything are done with SDL. And hmm, I'm trying to think of any other cool technical things to talk about. It uh, runs at 32 frames per second. It's a fixed frame rate. Um, which is something I'd probably change if I were to rewrite it, uh, which one of these days I might actually do, because being my first game in C uh, is pretty poorly written. Um, and I, when I say poorly written, I don't mean it's actually bad, because there's uh, very few obvious bugs. The game runs well, and it, yeah, it's not a bad game. But uh, I did a lot, like just about everything is in the global scope and functions are, they don't take any parameters so you just kind of have to know what each function does and what the global state is at any particular time when you're calling the function. So it's, it's kind of a mess to maintain, um, but it's small enough that if you know the code base well enough you can get around and do things. Uh, but yeah, if I were to rewrite it I'd definitely do a better job of uh, maintaining smaller scopes on things that don't need to be global and encapsulating things. I tried to, to comment the code fairly well. Some parts are better documented than others. And of course this game is free open source available on GitHub. Uh, it's I can build it right now for 32-bit and 64-bit Linux systems. I'm running 64-bit right now, and at one point I had a, I was able to cross-compile it for Windows, and then I added sound, and things got broken, so it doesn't build for Windows right now. But I also haven't worked on it in a number of months. But uh, yeah, so source code's available on GitHub, and you can uh, you can download it there and if you have the proper libraries installed I'm on Ubuntu right now and you can get uh, you can get the libraries from the the software center or Synaptic or whatever just go in type make and it'll build for you and so I guess that's really all there is to show oh wait I did I mention that you have different backgrounds which is what it's loading here at the beginning I think I did um, yeah got a bunch of different backgrounds that you can play with and they're all pretty nifty. So I'm gonna finish boring you with this silly game. But um, yeah, so go download the source code, play with it. If you're new to C or just want to learn a little bit about game writing. Actually if you want to learn about game writing don't use my game as an example because it's just like I mentioned before just badly written so don't write it that way. You can use it as an example of how not to write a game. So, I guess that's it. See ya.